Hello and oh, hang on, you very low down. Hello, Geek Squad, and welcome back to Geek Squid. What? You're like cool for you. I know. Hey. Hello. Hey. Where is my thumb? <laughs> I never do it right. Would you keep rolling? Do you like Geek uh, Squad? That's what I'm calling our new followers. I did it last time when you were in here, yeah, when you were off hoovering. I kept on looking at you there. I wasn't you moving. There. I was watching Gilmore Girls. Ooh, product placement. Boom. <laughs> Welcome back to Geek Squid. Boom, boom, boom. Episode number 10. Flash. Flash ten. runs, love. 10, 10, 10. Boom. Double figures now. We're grown ups. This is our first how to video. So I thought we'd do a cool. Don't look so bored. A cool video on how to start collecting comics for beginners because it's very daunting isn't it when you yeah. start off little and tadpole. expensive and expensive well expensive now but yeah expensive from the start yeah. and now and now so here we go here's stage number one research So we were just going through what, what we're going to say and Tina said, just start talking and I'll interrupt you as usual. So that's what we're going to do. The internet, what an amazing place. What a brilliant world it is. Start off with the internet. Just go on the internet, find your favourite characters. You're into Batman? Go on Wikipedia because Wikipedia is a good website to use for stuff like that. Other times it's pants. No, because it gets it all wrong and they don't know what they're talking about. I think they know what they're talking about. No, because people can edit them. People, you can put information on there. You haven't got a clue what you're talking about. So if you say something, oh yeah, that's oh. 1980. Oh, God. So, internet, Wikipedia, apps are also awesome. Image, DC, Marvel, they've got some great apps. They're all the same structure. Here's a DC, DC one, for example. Oh, God. Oh, I might, it's got to stop drinking in the morning. So, basically, they, they put what's featured each week. Um... New comic book days every Wednesday. Good tip for beginners. Wow, I keep on pointing over there. You're there. Yeah, so each week, get your app. I'm thirsty, yo. So are we just drink it now, so cheers. Sorry. It's very, very it's warm in the Very warm. Day. Very arid. When am I going to leave that so you can't up on the floor? So, yes, apps, Wikipedia, and the internet. That's stage one, research. Mmm. What the hell was that? I don't know. It's like you've been very angry with people. Stage number two. Make sure I did it in the middle. I yeah. instead of two. Got you got Can it. Can you see my hand? <laughs> Is support. Oh. Or lack thereof. Uh, yeah, it can be very daunting and very scary, but if you have a nice support network, then people can help you out. What, what's the next issue coming out? When is the arc finishing? So what you need to do Whoa. is... You need to go... <laughs> you're waffling. Mm. What you need to do is, if you're on Facebook or Twitter um, or Instagram, follow the companies who um, publish these comics, like DC, Marvel, because they'll give you updates when new things are coming out. You can also join Facebook pages, um, sometimes in your local area, um, <coughs> but other Facebook pages, like for us, Comic Book uh, For Sale UK, yep. um, they're a very good group, and you can... Supportive. They're supportive. You can ask questions on Nurturing. there. Nurturing. Uh, they are nurturing. No, they're not nurturing. They nurture me. Although I've made some lovely friends on there. Um, and you can, you can get some bargains on there as well. Yes. Um, sets of comics. If you want to, you know you like Batman, so you want to go in and buy a whole lot of comics all yeah. at once. And then a lot of the time, they are good sellers on there. Yeah, I, I, um, I, 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 um, sent out that song there. <laughs> What's that? Is that Duran Duran? They do us on the way no, it's a funny to be on the internet. Edit, edit. No, so, so I can keep rolling. Um, yeah, Facebook pages. So I was into Batman. But I said, oh, where do I start? How do I get into this? So I typed in, hey, guys, what a good Batman story. Single arc, single stories that I can get into. I had loads and loads People and loads. People give you their recommendations. Yeah. Oh, get this, get this, try this. I'm selling this for £5. Pound. Get this. It's brilliant. So that was step two support with a bit of uh, bit of retros singing as well. Retros 80s. Yeah. I don't think it was singing. Well. Something I like to do is um, 
Why are you looking at me like that for? Well, because I was all prepared. And then you go, so something I normally do. So, <coughs> something I did was I signed up for Previews UK and they sent me an email um, and let me know all the new things that are coming out. Mm. And um, also then that gives me a chance of looking at covers. And if I think, oh, that looks quite cool, I'll um, add that onto my subscription. Stop taking the mick out of me. Ooh. So if I can say what set number three is, that would be great. And that would be the actual purchasing of comics. Where do you buy comics? If you haven't got a local comic shop in your area, where do you go? Where do you go more than any other place? eBay. I think it's Toys R Us. We like to call Evil Bay. Sometimes, sometimes it's Evil Bay. It's Evil Bay. Can the devil ones love? <laughs> sometimes it's just nice, but isn't it's it? It's eBay, yes. It's just eBay. Yeah, eBay. Brilliant. You'd never think it. You know, it's normally for handbags and shoes, like... This one over here. But, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's brilliant. You just type in what you want. You can either bid on items or you can buy it now. You get some great bargains again. It's all about bargains. This is why I love about collecting comics. You get something, you think, good golly, that's supposed to be £50. You get it for, like, 20 quid, 15 quid. Yeah. It's awesome. Make sure you check out the seller, though, to see if they've had yes. any negative feedback. Yes. A lot of the time, comic book official sellers, um, like stores, um, I think... Um, I am Wolverine and mm. um, people like that. They'll have lots of feedback, um, so you'll be able to check to see whether they're legitimate or not. Yes, legit. Legit is good. If they have more positive feedback than negative, then go on. My favourite eBay shop, A Place in Space. Yeah. Also, where I've, Hi I've had one of my subscriptions for a while now. Yeah. Um, they they are excellent to deal with. You can email them if there's something that you like on eBay and you want to add it on to your subscription. You can yeah. just do that. Simple. Yeah, which brings me very nicely on. It's almost, yeah. it's almost like you know, to online subscriptions. Like we mentioned, the place in space. There are comic shops that not only sell in store, but they also sell in eBay and they also sell on their website. So you can take out what's called a comic subscription. So if you want every issue of the new Batman run, you put Batman starting from number one. And you'll get all of those every week or every month whenever they come out. Or if you just want to try it, <coughs> just ask them for number one of it. Yeah. And then you'll update them if you like it or if you don't like yeah. it. Yeah, get it off my subscription. I don't want that. That was pants. And then Give me you, something all you have to do with them then, um, a place in space specifically, um, oh you only have to have they one. They're paying you for this video, like, are they? They should be. Well, I've got an earpiece in. Push be. a place in space. A place in space. Push <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> they, um, there are more companies out there. They only order those. you one issue in, I think, at a time. So so if yeah. you do want to cancel something, you only have to buy one issue, which is great. But yeah, online online subscriptions is the way to go if you haven't got a comic shop. Obviously, there are places like Forbidden Planet, like I've mentioned before. Yeah. Just have a binge. bag and board, though. We talked about that before. Yeah, she's right. This woman's right. We do bag and board. We do so bag and board. yeah, online subscriptions. So that is how to. St what's it called? So that's the video of how to start collecting comic books. If you have any other questions, you can always comment down below. For beginners. Yeah, well, it's a, it's begin. It can't just be for beginners. Maybe people. You were hung up on your down below area. <laughs> it's for beginners. How to start collecting comics for beginners? She said, "I'll do the title. I'll do the sign off." All right, love you. Crack on with it. So that was. People may need to know about right. things. Yeah, so that was how to they collect. They might not be beginners. No, but this is aimed more at beginners. How to, how to start. Yeah, comment down below, uh, like this video. And please, please subscribe to our channel because if you want to see this madness every week, then that's the only way. That's the only way we'll get a community. At the minute, we're a little geek squad. We're a big geek squad. We're an army. So yeah, that's it from us. Cheers, we'll see you next time.